Today we were privileged to have Virginia here speaking to our group of Christian attorneys here in Dallas called Dallas Justice. Um, we had the privilege to listen to her, be encouraged by her, to hear about her testimony, her story, and um, her bravery of taking on the Ceausescu regime in communist Romania. You know, when you open her book, you see this statement and it says, I should have been dead, buried in an unmarked grave in Romania, but I'm not because God had other plans. And um, gosh, that, that affected me so much because God's plans were that she would be safe. And it reminded me that when we, when we are brave and obey the Lord, isn't that the safest place you can be? Um, you know, she could have not been serving the Lord sitting in her home and been falsely accused and brought into prison or killed or disappeared, but she wasn't, she was a target. Um, yet she obeyed the Lord and he granted her safety and ultimately provided the means for her to get political asylum to come to the United States. Um, I, I think in, uh, in the current positioning of the church, um, some of the apathy of Christians today, um, us being comfortable in our circumstances, I think it's good to hear what, it's, what it was like to, to have to fight for your faith. Um, we don't have to fight for our faith today. We really don't. Um, not in the same physical danger that Virginia had to. So then we're fearful even for someone to, to look at us the wrong way for sharing our faith. Um, but seeing what Virginia, what Virginia did gives us the power and the encouragement to live for Christ every day. Honestly, I feel, I feel called to say that e even anyone who's, um, who's sad in their circumstances in life, um, one thing I've found is the greatest antidote to self pity and to depression is, um, is service and gratitude. And reading Virginia's story um, reminds us that even in the worst of circumstances, there's room to serve our fellow, our fellow man. So.